Good morning. You guys must think I'm crazy and don't get out of the thrift store. <laughs> but my summer's almost over, so I'm just kind of trying to hit it up as much as I can before I get back to school. Anyhow, these are the things that I found between um, a trip to the Half Price Books in Indianapolis and the local Goodwill up there, too. So, Pieces and Ramona, Beverly Cleary. I've been looking for this one. This is a part of the Sunlight Kindergarten program. I found lots of other Beezus books and Beverly Cleary books, but hadn't found this one yet, so I was super excited. A little bit bummed that it has a half price books 50 cent sticker tag, and I found it at Goodwill and had to pay 69 cents. But oh man, <laughs> this is um, Skylark. We have this in audiobook. But um, I wanted to get this. It's part of the five in a row curriculum. We already have Sarah Plain and Tall. Roll Doll, James and the Giant Peach. I've been collecting his books as I find them. My children really enjoy them. We're about to finish up Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I found a couple of Becca readers. This one's called Paths of Gold and Secret in the Maple Tree. This is a five in a row book. This is um, Robert Louis Stevenson. Yes. Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Robert Frost, excuse me, I've got my poets mixed up. Anyhow, I was super excited to find this for a dollar. I have price books on clearance. Another roll doll, The Twits. I haven't heard of this one, but it's short and it seemed funny. Uh, Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. This is also part of the five in a row curriculum. Play With Me, a part of the five in a row curriculum as well. Actually, I think this is before five in a row. And then I found not one, not two, but three copies of Rocks of Oxen, which is also a part of the five in a row curriculum for $2 on clearance. A couple other books that I found that they had there that were part of the curriculum um, were 4 and $6, just because this wasn't the outlet. This is regular half price books, which would maybe have been normal prices, but I found a couple of them cheaper somewhere else, but I have not seen this book and I find three of them. I got them all and like I said I give these away for my friends. Then I also found at the Goodwill these two puzzles. I'll show you this one first. This is the one that first caught my attention. It's a Melissa and Doug puzzle and it's got these cubes that have different images on each side so you have like six puzzles in one and my kids are finding this very challenging which I think is fantastic because that means that we'll be able to use it for a while and this is something that we can work on. So super excited about this but I didn't even realize how excited I was. This was sitting on top of this. This is an Archer Quest, Stars and Domes. It comes with, dude, this is a, a killer find. I'm so excited. This book, really nice book. This one's called Legends of the Byzantine. After looking online, I see several other um, ones. It talks about how you can explore, introducing architecture about it, and then just a really neat guide of how they built these when they actually did and what the different pieces represent. And then um, just really cool stuff. And I think, yeah, here we go. It talks about the building ideas. And then here are some different ways that you can use your set to create different parts. And it has, you know, a buttress, cathedral, ziggurats, triumphal arch, what your image will look like. All these different things that you can make, pictures, and then it shows you how you can put it back in the end to look we didn't put it back that way but it still fit in there with a little um, a little bit of love but the kicker of why I was so excited about this obviously it's super super cool it just seems like fancy blocks but I like the book I think the book is the real key but watch this this is normally eighty dollars and I got it for three ninety nine that's insane. I'm so excited about this. So excited about this. So that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoy watching these and I appreciate your input and comments and leave them below. Thanks and have a blessed day.